Okay, so this is a yeast starter. What we're going to do here is we're going to take this pot and we're going to heat up one and a quarter liter of water and 142 grams of light DME. We're going to heat this water up just a little bit to the point where it gets, oh, that's good. Okay, it's warm enough to the touch. It's time to mix in the DME with a whisk. So what we're going to do with this is we are going to bring it to a boil. We're going to boil it for 10 minutes and then we're going to put it in, a, in an ice bath in the sink and bring it down to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to put it into a bottle and I'll show you that when we get to it. As you can see here the uh, dry malt extract or DME uh, mixture is boiling nicely. We got seven minutes left on the clock. We'll let that uh, boil down. Put a little star sand solution. This is a star sand sanitizer. Put that on top. And then we're going to take this, put it on the ice. We're going to take some water here. Put this in a nice ice bath. Oh, that's too cool. And we'll let that cool down to 70 degrees. And uh, since we're here, we're going to cock the lid a little bit so that the steam can escape. And this, this stuff is called Easy Clean, it's a sanitizer. And we're going to mix up a half gallon batch. So we take a half a tablespoon of that and mix it up with some warm water from the spigot. Take this here funnel. Put it in the sanitizing solution. Alright, sanitized. This is what we're going to use this gallon jug to. Um, make our starter and I'm going to pour the sanitizing solution in there like so this jug has been cleaned already Shake it up good. Get all that sanitizing solution around in there. Like so, all right, then we're going to dump it back. Grab in there. Get all that out. Like that. And we're going to take our sanitized funnel and we're gonna pour the DME wart into our bottle it's a good and aerated So that's about a liter and a quarter of the dry malt extract. Now we have we have our yeast, the dry English ale yeasts. And whenever you use this stuff, whether you make a starter or not, you want to sanitize the outside of the container. Right, you shake it up good. It's been sitting out since 4.30. It's almost 7.30. That's three hours, so that's plenty of time. Oh, yeast in there, it looks kind of lumpy compared to what I've seen before. Hmm. It must be a factor of the yeast. Alright, so we're going to 
open that up. Get rid of our funnel so I can get more yeast into there. And we're going to dump the yeast into the jug. jug. Okay, just leave that like that for now. of aluminum foil, fold it over two times, and we'll have a box like that. We're going to spray it down real good with star sand so that it's good and sanitized. Put it over the top and crimp it down like that so that air can get in. Um, or air can actually get out. And then I don't have a stir plate, so it's going to be um, shaking this stuff every time I walk past it, just like that. And uh, I'll be ready to do the step two of the starter tomorrow night. After that, it's been going for a good 18 to 24 hours. Yeah, starter one.